Hey, what's up? Carl here. Now today I'll be showing you guys how to get the Pleasantville effect in Final Cut. So, what do you mean you don't know what the Pleasantville effect is? The Sin City effect? There we go. Well, if you're still confused, here. Nice. Let's get to it. So before we begin, I would like to make one suggestion, and that is if you have any control over how your shots get set up, set them up in a way that whatever color you end up picking for this effect is very contrasted with the colors within the shot. Also pick colors that will look pretty cool with the black and white at the end result. My personal preferences are reds, greens, and blues, and I've realized those are the primaries for video. Hmm. Anyway, I'll see you guys in Final Cut. Okay, so you should have FCP open with a new project and your clip or clips in the timeline. First off, select the clip you want the effect to be applied to and open the inspector window. Next, under the color menu, find the option that says add color mask. It's the little square with an eyedropper icon over it. When you click, your cursor will change to an eyedropper and the next step is pretty cool. You can either click on a single point in the clip whose specific color you want to keep, or you can click drag to see a color range that will be affected. Once you're happy with the color range, you'll want to head over to the show correction arrow over here. This will allow access to the color correction parameters. Seeing as we're not color correcting, we'll be focusing on the saturation tab in the middle. The next step is important because whichever option you select will affect the desaturation process differently. We want everything but the selected color to desaturate fully. Therefore, we will choose the outside option under the mask menu located at the bottom of the window. Once selected, we can now desaturate the clip. Head over to the global slider under the saturation menu and slide it all the way down to desaturate the clip. If everything up to now has been done right, you should see the change happen immediately. You can now tweak this effect to get the look you desire. As an optional step, you could always duplicate the clip and connect it, then mask off the color area you want to show. I would do this if the color isn't as solid as I would like and other colors are tending to leak through. If you do use this option, it should be noted that you might need to delete the lower clip's mask and just have the entire clip desaturated. The mask also comes with a slider to adjust its softness. This will allow you to adjust how intensely the mask masks off the variations of that color. So there we have it. You too can now achieve that awesome Sin City look. Great stuff. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more tutorial videos like this in the future, please go and hit that sub button over there. If you'd like to follow me, my various social platform links are down there. But as for me, Carl, see you guys next week. Take care.